What you are watching right now is our recent AK360 VR release, Swimming with Whale Sharks. Filmed it by our friends Andrew and Nashi from Western Australia. This 360 video is in 8K slow motion, but surprisingly captured with the Insta 360 ONE X2 with its official underwater housing. We will talk about the secret 8K slow motion mode of the ONE X2 later in this video. But first, we will compare the Insta 260 ONE X2, Insta 260 ONE R, and the cool cam AK for snorkeling and underwater diving to find out which is the best. I will also suit up with my professional underwater gear, go into the Pacific Ocean to do a hands-on real-world comparison test just for you. this thing off. Ugh, I just got back from the ocean. So, whoops, let's talk about 1R. Hey, what's up everybody? So right now I am in Laguna Beach. It's my first time going to the ocean with my full on wet, wet suit. Uh, like, like, look like a, a noob here because everybody wear a bathing suit and I wearing a, a full on outfit. And I'm gonna test out this brand new camera. It's not brand new, but it's brand new for me. It's a 1R, one inch mod full underwater diving housing case. Uh, we're gonna film some fishy in that ocean. I already made an in-depth 1R underwater housing tutorial in another video. Check the link right here. The time I do not have the underwater housing for 1R 1 inch mod. So water got into my camera and the whole camera unit is destroyed. So since then, I would recommend anyone serious about using Insta360 or GoPro product in the ocean to invest in a dive case. That is my number one tips to you. You have no idea how deep you will go when you are out in the ocean. The one hour orange Leica with the official dive case is a great underwater camera. In 2021 recent update, one hour one inch introduced horizon lock and loop recording. As you see, horizon lock is very important for underwater capture, especially you are a beginner like me. Here is the unprocessed audio within the dive case. The sparkling gear he has is not ideal, unfortunately. It's not too bad. To avoid problems like right here, I recommend apply lens water spot repellent on the case. This video is about the underwater 360 cameras, so let's talk about them. 1X2 vs Coolcam AK with housing. Which one should you get? Let's take a look at some side-by-side -side comparison footage. Here we have our friend Devin diving with the Insta 360 1X2. And here we have Kili with Coolcam AK. By the way, both videos are available to be downloaded for free. I put the link in the description down below so you can style it onto your Ocular Crest or reframe it with GoPro FX Reframe in Premiere. If you do that, the first thing you will notice is the Nadir. They both have a large Nadir caused by the underwater housing. But Coolcam AK is smaller than the 1X2. 
Meaning in Cool Camp AK, you can see more of the ocean and less patchwork if you really hate the Nadia and want to remove it in post-production with Mocha Pro. Comment below if you want to learn the Boris FX Mocha Pro dive housing removal tutorial. As you see, in my official Underwater 360 experience, I had to use my mirror ball effects to patch the Nadia. But even that, the edge of the 1x2 housing is still showing from time to time. If you need smaller Nadia, Coolcam AK with the housing is a better option. But Coolcam AK has a major issue for recording longer than 10 minutes underwater. Hit issue. So what happened, Kitty? <laughs> um, Your camera, why is it so floppy? Well, it, uh, it's very hot uh, inside, so it's, uh, it's a bit steamy when you get out in the cold waters What's of the your Pacific face? What Ocean. What is that? What is that? Is that mad? <laughs> don't talk it's about so it. I don't even know what my face looks like right now. It so. looks great, great. This camera, look at that. Feel at the same time. No fog. All because of the awesome. Do not forget to change your fog inserts. Okay. <laughs> like me. I you forgot too. to change mine. It got foggy. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. They're only good, good for tip, one use, guy. and that's it. One use, guys. One yeah. use. Continue recording for more than 10 minutes is very common in any water sport. Cool Game AK generate a considerable amount of heat. Even with brand new anti fog inserts like what we have right here, it will still fog up inside of the camera leading to blurry images. And another issue is the metal ring on the Coolcam AK. It looks great, very stylish, but it caused reflection inside the underwater dive case. You can see the metal ring right here. Luckily, when you purchase the dive housing, they also provide stickers to cover the yellow metal ring, like what you see right here in my unit. Do that before you go into water. In terms of image quality, they are mostly the same. Coolcam AK is sharper because it is AK, but install to see has better color than Coolcam AK. In 2021 summer update, install 360 introduced a very special color settings called Aqua Vision 2.0. Let's talk about it in the next section. Aqua Vision 2.0. Ocre Vision 2.0 is an underwater correction algorithm that has been improved to make color more vivid and realistic. But is it though? Let's take a look at with and without the Ocre Vision 2.0. So Ocre Vision 2.0 does take out that nasty greenish color, but it also makes the footage look really flat and lifeless. It also introduces noise in the shadow. If you're in a hurry, yes, you can use that, but I would suggest everyone learn how to color grade your footage to make it look rich and cinematic. If you are a long time followers of Freveda Up, you know I would never allow you to take the easy way out. To make your life easier though, I will provide my 360 underwater LUT completely free to give you a good starting point. The LUT help you to remove the unwanted greenish color but also keep the deep blue. Let's do a quick comparison with the Aqua Vision 2.0 result. You see, our result is richer in color and remove that haze. The white is now really white as you see right here instead of still greenish in the Aqua Vision result. From here, you can increase the mid-tone and bring back some detail in the dark. If you are in DaVinci Resolve, you can run extra denoising process to remove the sensor noise in the dark area. Or you can use neat video for this tutorial right here. And you are pretty much there. In the ideal world, we want a red filter, but there is no red filter for 260 camera. So my LUT is the next best thing. Depend on how deep you are going to dive, you will start to lose orange and then yellow color as well. So use this as a good starting point and color grade and based on your depth and surrounding color. My 360 underwater LUT is not only free, but also can be used with GoPro Max and Coolcam AK right here. To get the best result, Set your white balance to auto and shoot with regular color mode, which will give you the REC 709 result. 
my LUT is built on top of standard Rack 709 as a creative LUT. I wouldn't recommend shooting in lock on the 1X2 or 1R, it is too noisy. So stay in normal color mode. If you like my free LUT and want to thank me for my generosity to the 360 community, don't forget to give this video a like, drop me a thank you comment down below, and share this video on your social media. Must have underwater camera accessory. Beside the underwater housing, the next thing I will consider is to get an ocean saw waterproof selfie pole. The longer distance between you and your 360 camera, the better. So your standard Insta360 selfie stick or the new 3 meter pole you see right here is not going to work. They are not so waterproof. I will suggest getting the 270 Pro Backpack S review right here. The reason why this is the best option is because the base of the 270 Pro is removable. After ocean activity, you can rinse the salt water out with clear water. Then you can dry them section by section. It also comes with this hand strap to make sure you do not lose your camera in the ocean. Coolcam AK or the View XR right here under water housing use the quarter inch connector instead of the standard GoPro connector right here. It does not fit the 270 Pro. Then I would suggest investing in a universal quick release system. The UNIZ UU Rig Hummingbird quick release system is what I would recommend. It is made with really solid waterproof material. When you mount the cool cap underwater housing on it, it really just locks right in. It's that easy. Then you can just slap on your 270 Pro and ready to go. By the way, if you want to have the invisible selfie stick effect, you want to keep the session perfectly vertical, like you see right here. With a quick release, you can quickly lock this thing in. So every time you remove the camera, put it back in, it is make sure it's vertical in any selfie stick. So I highly recommend investing in a quick release system like the Hummingbird. It is a little bit pricey, but well worth it. Lynx water spot repellent is another thing you want to invest. Apply it on the surface of the underwater housing will give you a great result instead of this. The last thing you will need is the anti-fog inserts. Your underwater housing come with anti-fog insert, but you cannot reuse anti-fog inserts. So each time you go into the water, you need a brand new set of anti-fog. So just get a package of them so you will never run out. Underwater filming is different from above the water. If you follow this channel, you know the correct use of 360 camera on the ground is to keep the camera vertically so your selfie stick right here will never show in the 360 video. But in underwater filming, this will block the diver most of the time, like you see right here. If you watch our official underwater 360 experience, swimming with whale shorts, you know that we designed to film it in an angle. Yes, the selfie stick is showing, but we can clearly see our beautiful swimmer here as well. This enhances our storytelling instead of just seeing the whale shark. My point is, be creative. Don't let root define your creative choice. There is no right or wrong in 360 filmmaking, especially underwater. No matter how good you are at diving, your 360 camera on the other end of the selfie stick is going to move a lot. So we recommend filming in slow motion. For the 1X2 right here, it is 4K in 50 frames per second. For the Coolcam AK, it's 4K in 120 frames per second. In Premiere or DaVinci Resolve, we interpolate the footage in 30 frames per second, so the footage looks smoother as you see right here. 4K is usually not high enough resolution. We use AI to upscale it back to 5.7K or even 8K like right here. I use 
Topaz Video Enhanced AI, but if you want a free solution, you can also just use DaVinci Resolve 17, Super Scale. A detailed tutorial is here on both the Topaz Video Enhanced AI and DaVinci Resolve. Comment below if you want my specific underwater upscale settings or just learn it in my 260 Filmmaking Masterclass right here. We will also cover how to create this beautiful crystal ball to cover your underwater housing in my Masterclass. I highly recommend watch my underwater 260 experience swimming with Whale Shark here on Oculus TV or on YouTube VR with the Oculus Quest 2 to learn all my tricks and get inspired. Thank you for watching. This is just the part one of how to film underwater VR. We will cover more professional filming and diving techniques in this very special summer series like reviewing the Mantis Sub Underwater Camera Housing for Insta 260 Pro 2, and much, much more. We are also adding more new lessons in our 260 Filmmaking Masterclass, link right here. The Masterclass is so close to finish, and the price is going to go up very soon. The final price is going to be more than 300 US dollars. So if you are interested, don't forget to get it now before it's too late. If you want to invest in the Insta 261X2 and its underwater housing, check out the link and a special discount code in the description down below. You will get an extra discount from me on top of what is already on the official website. It is my thank you gift to you so you can always get the best deal on all 260 camera gears. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. We have more original VR content that will inspire you and more tutorial to sharpen your VR skill. Keep creating my friends, I will see you next time or see you on the beach. Maya Angelou famously said, people will forget what you said, people will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you make them feel. The ability to make your audience feel love or hate, joy or despair, fear or enjoyment had never been more at our fingertips than now with virtual reality 260 storytelling. If you have ever wondered how to make a film, documentary or fictional piece using this new medium that creates an emotional impact, a feeling that they will never forget, then please come join me as it is my mission to give you this power to touch, to inspire, and to create. In this 260 VR Filmmaking Masterclass, we will give you a framework to work from as a storyteller or filmmaker using your familiar language. No matter what your skill level is in immersive production, you can take away a wealth of knowledge from some of the world leading experts in the field. We will cover practical topics like fundraising, client communication, budgeting, scripting and storyboarding, directing, blocking, set and space design, camera and shooting, lighting, spatial audio, DIT, stitching and editing, and even distribution in the entire VR filmmaking ecosystem. I hope this course will serve as your go-to guide on VR filmmaking. So you can go out there and create. No matter if you are a VR producer, director, camera operator, or VR enthusiast.